Now, I'm not sure who that old British lady was singing, but I do know that's a Waylon Jennings song about my favorite Texas fiddler of all time, Bob Wills. And this is The Hook. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Rausch, and I love the University of Texas so much that when my elementary school music teacher taught us I've Been Working on the Railroad, I taught her that that song's really called The Eyes of Texas. By the way, Mom and Dad, I was only kidding. Of course, I know that's Paul McCartney. Anyway, I'm not going to string you along anymore. In this edition of The Hook, we're talking about the Olympics of violin playing. That's right, every two years in a city around the world, the best violinists under the age of 22 meet and compete at the Minuan International Violin Competition, and this year it was right here at the University of Texas. Take a look. This year we had, I think it was 275 entries um, who were then narrowed down so that we have 20 roughly 20 juniors and 20 in the senior section who come to the venue for a week of competition and a whole program of, of concerts and things. Things indeed, and see, we interviewed Mr. Greenland there at the Blanton Museum of Art where he was for a free show. There were lots of other things. There was old time Texas fiddling, there were concerts at the Long Center, and of course, bow breaking, intense competition, most of it free and open to the public. This was also the first time the competition was held on North American soil and it was hosted by UT's own Butler School of Music. So take that, Canadian music schools. By the way, Mr. Greenland, before you go, make like a Dairy Queen commercial and tell us what you like about Texas. What I've enjoyed about Texas is the combination of all this wonderful classical music by day and then the Continental Club and the Broken Spoke at night. And that is unique. Nowhere else in the world can you do that. Well, come on back anytime, Mr. Greenland. By the way, Dale Watson plays the spoke on Fridays, and his fiddle player ain't bad. If you want to learn more about the competition, you can find the link to their website in the description below, where you'll also find, as always, the latest and greatest UT news, including a piece I wrote about the Texas X's Flying Longhorns program and their hottest new travel destination, Cuba. So next time you guys should take me to Cuba, the piece will probably be even better. You can also read UT Professor Brewster's take on why we should still study William Shakespeare after all these years, and you can read about the Invisibility Club being developed on the 40 acres, so take that, Harry Potter. Anyway, until next time, I'm Andrew Rausch. Stay hooked.